All units in the vicinity of 6th and Grand respond to a 415 miscellaneous. Officers need assistance. That's real close. Let's take it. All right. Dispatch, this is 1 William 13 responding to the 415. Copy, 1 William 13. Be advised, Detective Maletti and Officer Davis are on the scene. Roger that. Gonna put the bubble on. Sunbathing. How many guys inside? One. Oh. One? Yeah. One. Okay, uh, well, I guess uh, we'll take it, all right? Yeah. One. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, since you guys got it, we'll just back you up from here, okay? Please speak English. That man's done yet. Uh, August, I think we can take him. You think so, huh? Yeah. Okie dokie. Show me your badge. You think that'll work? Go ahead, show it to him. You know something, August? That badge thing is overrated. You know, my mom always told me, there's nothing worse than a big, hungry, angry man. I say we let him finish. I tried to tell you that earlier. People call it the City of Angels anyway. I mean, you really think this is a place God would have wanted his people to live? Well, look around, August. We got sunshine, we got clean air, well, at least a couple weeks out of the year, and we got the most beautiful women in the world. What more could you ask for? Well, the sunshine I can handle. The air is lousy, and I'm a married man, so that beautiful woman thing just gets me in trouble. What else you got? Well, partner, you get to work with me, one of the best detectives on the force. See, 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 that's another problem I got, too. Come in, we're over here. So.
Can you possibly think of a better way to start the day? For some reason, my imagination escapes me right now. Well, we got deep puncture wounds across the torso and abdomen. Looks like she's been stabbed about 25, 30 times. I'm guessing 10 hours. I'll buy that. Fingernails are broken, knuckles scraped, bruises on her upper arm. Her money and wallet are present, no sign of robbery. She must have put up one hell of a fight. What do you make of the pillow? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. This was found on the body. Let's contend no more love, strive nor weep. All be as before, love only sleep. I am he, the Lord, your God. You shall seek your salvation! Ah! Crazy. Uh, judge not! You will pay for your sins. Oh, is that right, huh? You wouldn't happen to have a permit for this, would you? I don't talk to nobody but my lawyer. I don't think that'll be a problem, do you, August? No, because he's certainly gonna need one. I think it's time he meets Miranda. You have the right to remain silent. Give up that right anything you say. That joker who calls himself the Reaper has got a solid alibi for the time the murder was committed. The mental institution he escaped from this morning. Sorry, guys. All right, folks. We got a body, a note, and a very unique M.O. We put it on the cleats line. We come up with an identical. We could have a serial killer here. No press. And I mean no press will hear about this until I authorize it. Any leaks, you're going to have to deal with me. Maletti. The uh, victim's name was Sarah Fisher. The airline ticket in her pocket said she arrived here yesterday at 10.30 p.m. from St. Paul, Minnesota. It checks out. We're trying to reach the next of kin. Okay, Velez. Okay, well, the weapon used was probably a kitchen knife, and there was no evidence of sexual abuse or penetration. We found a hair follicle under Fisher's right hand. It was male, Caucasian, undetermined age, brunette. And we also found black fibers, which are a polyester rayon blend, probably belonging to a jacket or to a pant. Well, looks like we got enough to go on. Brooks, McDonald. You're in charge. Let's get to it, everyone. Gotta love the way that guy delegates authority, huh? Yeah, right. All right, listen up, everybody. I'd say the tour lines are a good place to start. Richardson, you want to take that? I'm all over it. Hey, Richardson, if you find uh, Bruce Springsteen's house, let me know, all right? Well, I know where Madonna lives. <laughs> get out of here. Mm -hmm. August? I'm a jazz man myself. Maletti, why don't you get me some detectives back into the neighborhood where the body was found? Maybe we can turn up some looky-loos. You got it. All right. Everybody else, you know what to do. Let's go to work, people. Listen, uh, Chase, I'm gonna need a ride home tonight, man. I mean, my car's being serviced, and Kendra's gotta pick up her sister from the airport. Oh, yeah? Is she as cute as Kendra's? What's up with that? What are you trying to say? Huh? What does that mean, man? Trying to tell me you're attracted to my wife? Yeah, but no, 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 no. 
<laughs> I'm just pulling your chain, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, do you want to go to uh, Veggie Vegan for lunch? You got fake pork, fake beef, fake chicken, all made with roots I mean, and beets whoa, and stuff. Whoa, 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 time out. Why don't we go get some real burgers, real burgers, real burgers, real burgers? They got veggie burgers, sir? I don't know. They got veggie burgers and real burgers. You ever hear of Johnny Blaze? Heck yeah! Who hasn't? Is that who it is? My boss is a friendly guy who just loved to say hi to a fan. Hop in, you can meet him. Oh. I don't know. Come on. Better than that crowded bus. You'll have a limo all to yourself. Maybe he'll even show you his mansion. Really? Okay, great. You're already there, kid. Say, do you like poetry? Approximately 20 years old, multiple stab wounds of the torso and abdomen. Looks like our man. Wallet's still on the body, just like the rest. Got a new item here, too. Lipstick on the cheek. Betty Jo Faber, Tulsa, Oklahoma. August. See the creatures stalking while we speak. Hush and hide the talking, cheek on cheek. Who is this guy, the Riddler? It's a verse, a poem. Yeah? I just don't know which one. Hey, what's happening? August told me your sister's in town. Yeah, she is. They're in back right now. Right? God, you are a handsome man, aren't you? Well, thank you. You're not too bad yourself. <laughs> I just love it when you talk to me like that. Kendra, what are you doing? I'm just being friendly. Um, a little too friendly, don't you think? Oh, don't tell me you're afraid of a little seduction. A little seduction? Yeah, seduction. You know what, I, I, Jody, I think Jody needs me. I... Bye, handsome. Let's contend no more, love. Strive nor weep. All be as before, love. Only sleep. See the creature stalking while we speak. Hush and hide the talking. Cheek on cheek. Okay. The first murder we had a pillow. Only sleep. The second murder we had a pillow and we had a lipstick kiss on the cheek. Cheek, cheek on, on cheek. cheek. So somehow the verses are connected, but I, I don't know what it means.
Junior. You know, when I was in the cell, I was doing all that thinking about what you said about my diet. I'm gonna do it, man. I'm gonna change. I got to change. Oh. That's great, Junior. That's great. Yeah, yeah. You know, do just like what we talked about. You know, try and cut the fat out of the diet and uh, eat smaller meals throughout the day more often and try not to eat after 6 o'clock. <laughs> and we'll have you down to 400 before you know it. Thanks, man. You know, no one ever cared as much as you. Marcus, can I ask you a question? Shoot. I got this problem. <laughs> so what else is new? Well, actually, I mean, I don't have a problem. It's a friend of mine that has a problem. You see, he has a friend. Well, it's really a business partner of his who has a wife. And this guy's wife came on to my friend. And now he doesn't know how to tell his partner because he's afraid of what might happen. So what does he do? Tell him. Tell him? Yeah, tell him. Yeah? Yeah. OK, um, that's what I'll do. I'll, uh, I'll tell him. I mean, I'll, I'll tell him to tell him. You know, you get stranger every day. You know what I like about stakeouts, Miletti? It's the companionship. Two men, alone, together, just each other to rely on. What the hell are you talking about? What'd you do that for? Get a fly right in the middle of your forehead like that. A fly? I'll give you a... Oh, look out! Oh, yeah? Get another one by your ear, right there. Look, a spider! Oh, yeah? Tarantula, right over well, there. Yeah? Hi there. Hi. You're from out of town, aren't you? Yeah, I am. How'd you know that? It's my job to know. As an introductory offer to new folks in town, my company is giving away a free limousine ride to the contestant with the brightest smile. Oh. <laughs> That's a winner if I ever saw one. Thank you. My name's Hank. We'll have to take my car to the limo service. I hope you don't mind. I don't think I'm interested. Come on, it'll be fun. Come on, it'll be fun. Don't, don't be so no, difficult. I know. I know. <clears throat> Somebody help me! <clears throat> hey, 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 look. You're making a scene. <clears throat> hey, police! Police! Oh, oh. Bernard, back me up from here. You okay, ma'am? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, he's out. He's gone. What do you mean he's out? He's already out of here. He left. All right, Rick. 
Richardson? What the hell happened? Well, it's like this. He got away. Now I know how you guys feel. Mm -hmm. Well, there was only partial prints on the vehicle, and it wasn't enough to go on. The lighter's still up at the lab, but the good news is, is that this matches the murder weapon. Good work, Lucy. Thanks. Thanks, Lucy. We got zilch in the mug shots. Six, six, one, brown hair, Caucasian. That's it. Says she was too scared to get a good look, but she says she's positive. She got a nice little chunk out of his face. Thanks a lot, my lady. Keep it up, baby. Damn it. I want results. I don't want statistics. McDonald? Captain, we're working on it, all right? <sighs> teach me only teach, love, as I ought. I will speak thy speech, love. Think thy thought. August, I got it. It's Robert Browning's A Woman's Last Word. Look, first verse. Let's contend no more, love. Third verse, see the creature stalking. Seventh verse, teach me only teach love, that one. All right, all right, so, so, this guy is working with odd numbers. Uh -huh. All right, Where, where's number five? Where the apple reddens never pry, lest we lose our Edens. Even I, yes, yes. What does all this mean? I have no idea. You know what? We need an expert opinion. Apparently, he's baiting you with prose. The poem is about a woman expressing her moral self-surrender. To her, it's better to keep her man's love, even though it means shutting her eyes to the truth of her lover's imperfections. So in some strange way, he's looking for acceptance from a woman. That's possible. Kind of defeats the purpose of dating, doesn't it? You know, I just wish we could figure out a method to his madness. Well, just be aware, he's probably planned out every step of this. Expect the unexpected. Um, I have an 11 o'clock, guys. Uh, can I have a word with you, detective? Alone? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just be waiting outside. Uh, thanks a lot, Miss Lee. Sure, no problem. <sighs> How you been, Stella? Is that a trick question? Can't believe he came down here. Oh, you know, you know isn't, isn't that amazing? All that time and we haven't run into each other once. That's no coincidence. You dumped me, Chase. No, I didn't. Stella, hey, I didn't dump you. I mean, um, I just been, I, I just got real busy and... Right, a polite way of saying go away. You know, you could have at least given me a chance to repay all those nice things you did for me. Um... Did I tell you I got a girlfriend now? Um, like for the last year? I'd like to meet her sometime. You know, that would be great. We could have you over for dinner and, uh, well, you know what? Lunch, lunch. I'll give you a call. You know where to find me, cowboy. <sighs> cowboy? Oh, you heard all that, huh? Oh, I heard enough. Yeah, that's Stella, huh? That's Stella. You know, judging from that woman's body language, I think she genuinely hates you. Yet, she wants to get into your pants all at the same time. What's that about? Well, when I figure it out, I'll let you know. You wouldn't believe the stuff she used to try to get me to do. Like what? Let me put it this way. You want a rubber suit? Whoa, whoa. That's enough sharing for me, pal. Say, listen, Kendra's sister wants us all to get together for dinner tonight. Can you make it? Um, uh, ooh. Hmm, tonight? Tonight? T -t tonight? Uh, I'm, 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 <laughs> I can't. I can't tonight. Because, 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 uh, Jody, Jody and I have, uh, 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 dinner plans. Why are you acting so funny? I'm not acting funny, am I? Yes, you are. You, you're making it sound like I'm trying to hide something. I'm, I'm, August, I just can't make it to dinner tonight. I mean, jeez. <laughs> Teach me. Only teach love as I ought. I will speak thy speech, love. Think thy thought. Meet, if thou require, 
both demands, laying flesh and spirit on thy hands. That shall be tomorrow, not tonight. I must bury sorrow out of sight. Where's my, where's my light? You were the one who didn't like her. She was clean, very pretty. I like her. But you made me hurt her. Please don't do that. You know I don't like knives. Please on me. I promise I won't tell. You heard me. I just wanted to say hi. I know something's bothering you. I could tell the minute you walked in. Yeah. Something is bothering me, Jody. Is it the serial killer? Yeah, it's that. But um, it's something else, too. Something I really don't want you to have to worry about. Try me. Kendra made a pass at me. <laughs> oh, ha ha, really funny, Chase. Jody, I'm not kidding. She made a pass at me. Are you sure about this, Chase? <sighs> she kissed me. She, she kissed you? She, she's one of my closest friends, OK? She would not do that. Look, I am going to call her right now. So. Whoa, 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 Jody, no, we can't, OK? Please, I haven't even told August about this yet. I'm going to talk to him tomorrow morning, all right? Please don't call her. August here? I don't know. Um, you know what? Kendra, we need to talk about yesterday. Uh, I, I don't know exactly how to explain what happened, and it's making me very uncomfortable. Kendra? Well, it speaks for itself. I came on to you and you panicked. But that's OK, because I don't go for wimps anyway. Wimps? Hey, I'm not a wimp. Yeah? Who else would reject a body like this besides a fool? A fool? A friend. A friend, that's who. And I'm August's friend. And I'm just letting you know that, that I'm going to tell him. Uh-oh. I thought I just heard Chase in here. He just left. Uh. August, sweetie, I have a little confession I have to make. I think you better sit down for this. You've been at it again, haven't you? August. Honey, she does this all the time. Morning, people. Morning, August. You know, I thought about this stuff all night last night. This crap does not lead to anything. 
Lucy, did you ever get a print off that lighter? No. Let me ask you something. Where is it? On these lighters, when you have to refill them, you have to take them apart, right? Mm-hmm. Is there a chance that there might be a fingerprint on the inside? There's a chance, and it's probably smeared. Well, it's worth a try. All right. Listen, um, McDonald. Yeah. How's that um, friend of yours you were telling me about? My friend? Yeah, you know, the one with the cheating wife. Oh, him. Um, he's fine. That's good. That's good. Because if something like that went down with my wife, I'd have to grab my piece and bust a cap in somebody's butt. You know what I'm saying? Really? Really. Guys, I think I've got something. Fingerprint? Yep, and it definitely looks doable. Great. Run it. All right. Print. Really? Michael Hayes. This guy's a veteran of the penal system. Attempted rape, assault with a deadly weapon, attempted murder. Sounds like he led a pretty crappy life. Yeah, well, doesn't come as a big surprise. It says here that his guardian, Aunt B, committed suicide after he tried to kill her. <laughs> Sounds like a very special family. August, um, speaking of families, remember that friend of mine I was telling you about the other day, the one with the partner and the wife? Yeah. Well, actually, that was... This is it. I see the black and whites are here. Okay, people, this one is ours. Apple reddens never pry, lest we lose our Edens. Eve and I. Hmm. Wonder who the prom queen is. Looks like mommy dearest. And, and B. B. Mac. Rayon polyester blend. Right color. Inside pocket. Michael Hayes, Hollywood Limousine Service. I saw a limo out front when we pulled in. Check it out. Hey, someone bagged this stuff. Hey, that's our guy. Locked in. Black and white. Here, would you? August, August, there he is. He must have turned up there. That gate's locked. Go, go, go! Blair! Uh, August, August! Uh, LAPD! Uh, identify yourself! Joe Kirby, I'm just a truck driver, man. The guy driving this limo stole my rig, cold cocked me. ID, on the hood, right now. Okay. Easy, easy. Let's check out. Yeah. 
All right, give us a description of the vehicle. It's a Red Harvester, towing a chrome tanker filled with gasoline, uh, license number C0069. Which direction did he go? Uh, he got on the Vine Street on-ramp, headed northbound on the 101. Are you all right? Yeah. All right, wait here, we'll get you an ambulance. Let's go. You make sure you get him. What are you doing? It's my turn to drive. No, no, since when are we taking turns? Oh, come on, August, he's getting away. Get in. I think it's your man that's getting away. William 13, can you put me through to any available air units over Hollywood? This is Air Unit 3, go ahead, 1 William 13. Air Unit 3, this is 1 William 13. We have a 187 suspect headed northbound on the 101, a red harvester pulling a fuel tanker. Can you give me a visual? You know what, August? We need to call for barricades. Keep moving. Keep it moving. Come on. There he is. All right, all right. Stay close behind him. guy's gonna stop. Doesn't look like it. Attention all barricades. Look alive, men. Looks like he's coming through. Driving 10 tons, we're sitting on one. All right, see if you can get a shot at the tires. Right. What happened? Drop my gun. Get it! Hey, I'm stuck between the doors. Come on, August, what are you doing down there? Do you mind?
pinch me! What? Pinch me! No! Oh! Yes! Yes! I'm alive! I don't believe it. How could anyone walk away from something like that? Well, relax, Chase. Choppers are in the air. Search teams with canines are on their way. We're gonna get this guy. How about the trucker and the bus driver? The bus driver's gonna make it. He's on the way to the hospital right now. Thank God there weren't any kids on the bus. August! Yeah? Check this out. What do you got? He went up there. McDonald? August. Broken branch. Where'd you learn how to do this Tonto thing? Horse guts. He's in that warehouse. Okay, Bawana. She's like that. Did the same thing to Kendra and I when we first dated. Twin sister. How come you never told me she had a twin sister? Relax. She told me this morning. I was ribbing you with it earlier. Now it's not so funny. I'm well, glad you found it so funny. I've been stressing over this for the last two days. Hey, at least now I know I can trust you. See, it all worked itself out. Great. I feel like a big jerk. When you're done feeling like a big jerk, can we go in here and get this over with? Three. I smell gasoline. Lots of it. Welcome, detectives. I was wondering if you were ever going to find me. My aunt told me to kill them. I had no choice. You have a choice now. You can walk out of here. You're a sick man, Hayes. We can get you help. It doesn't work. I feel so terrible. I didn't want to hurt any of them. I'm relieved you've come to my rescue. Listen, Hayes, why don't you come down here, pal, huh? Nice and slow. We can talk about this. August, if he drops that lighter, they're going to be scraping us off the ceiling with a squeegee. Don't do it, Hayes. Must a little weep, love. Foolish me. And so, fall asleep, love, loved by thee. They never understood me. Thank you. Real good. Of course, don't expect a promotion or anything. Hmm. 
Looks like a pat on the back from the big chief, huh? <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh. Hi, honey. Hi, Rosie. You don't have to hide, Chase. How do you tell them apart? Oh, I can tell them apart. My baby's a lot cuter. <laughs> you stopped on the way to the airport because Rosie has something to say, don't you, sister? I wanted to apologize, Chase. Jody called Kendra and yelled at her, and I almost ruined that friendship, too. I guess I just do that. <laughs> yes, you sure do. Hey, <laughs> it's already forgotten. I mean, I guess it was kind of funny. I mean, August and I laughed about it for hours, didn't we, August? Yeah, ha, ha, ha. I just love a man with a sense of humor. You do, huh? I've got someone I want you to meet. Hey, Richardson, come here for a second. Yeah. Have you ever met uh, August's wife, Kendra? Oh, yeah, sure, hi. Hi there. Listen, I got uh, some paperwork I gotta take care of, all right? Okay. God, you sure are a handsome man, aren't you? All these authority figures are making my little head spin. Oh, hey, can I get you an aspirin or something? I had a little something better in mind. Uh, you're married to Brooks, right? <laughs> McDonald. Mm -hmm. What did you just do? Me? Nothing.